Hi guys, I'm Victor and today I want to make this video to teach you how to improve gaming performance, FPS in games. So yeah, let's get started. First thing that I want to teach you is how to get rid of the error, how to stop the trans bad transparency and all that good looking windows. It may not look as good but trust me, it'll, you will gain like 10 FPS boost. So yeah, first, click start, right click on my computer and hit properties and this window will pop up. Go to advanced system settings. Click advanced system settings. I'm recording and that's why it's... Alright, then go to settings. And hit adjust for best performance. And just hit apply and OK. So yeah, that should easily get you, give you 10 FPS. Now, I can almost guarantee that this will boost your FPS. So yeah, next thing it's uh, tweaking your graphics card for best performance. So right click on my computer on desktop. And click AMD Vision Engine Control Center. Uh, I don't have an NVIDIA video card, so this should be the same though. So, yeah. Click this. So, right click on my computer on desktop. And uh, d you should click this. And after this, will pop up. And go to Gaming. Click. And then, Standard 3D settings. Uh, if you want the best performance without changing any of these, just just drag this to optimal performance and then hit optimal performance and hit apply or if you want to customize it hit use custom settings and let's start mid mapping uh, I recommend that you keep it on performance because if you ha keep it on high performance you're not going to see small textures and there's just some problems with seeing text so I just recommend it keep it on performance it's not really a big difference but if you have a low end PC and you just want performance, just go with high performance. But again, I recommend the performance. Anyway, next, I want to teach you anti aliasing. This is, you just use custom settings, let the game choose, and you can turn it off or on in the game. Not If you want to first it off, just uncheck and see how much, like two, you know. But again, use custom, use application settings. Next, the anti but this one <laughs> uh, again application settings click it or if you don't want just see but again I recommend that you use application settings and the last part is adaptive anti-aliasing this I heard that if you turn it off you will gain an FPS boost I don't really know if that's true but I think it is or if you wanna keep it on just to make sure it's on performance you know Make sure it's on, it's, on, it's on performance. Yeah, so make sure it's on performance if you keep it on. So yeah, that's... Oh, wait, and uh, one more thing. AMD override. I You you can use this, but uh, I don't recommend you just click it max. It might give you an FPS boost, but it might damage your video card. So <laughs> I... Yeah, you should not exaggerate it. And yeah, that that's, this should be it. What is going on with my, <laughs> with my, um, so yeah, just this, and that should be it with the video card. Next thing that you need to do is, I'll teach you how to use advanced system care. So here it is. So first tab is care tab. So now, just, you don't need malware removal. You can keep it on, but you have an antivirus, so I don't think you need to use it. Privacy sweep. This is will just uh, clean your history from your browser, internet browser. So if you keep this, make sure you you check all boxes of the br internet browser that you don't use. Like for example, Internet Explorer. I don't use it, so just check all of these. Google Chrome. Like don't check the history or whatever. You don't want to. Anyway, next is Internet Boost, keep that on. Registry the frag, keep that on. Security Defense, again, antivirus. Vulnerability fix, I you should keep this on, cause, uh, but it takes a lot to fix. Depends on how bad your system is. Anyway, so you should keep it on, you know. Just keep it on. Registry the frag, keep it on. Make sure you check all these. Uh, registry fix, sorry. You make sure you keep all these. Junk files clean. You like this, pause the video and see how it is. Shortcut fix system optimization. 
I recommend you keep it on top performance. The all up depends how your network up needs. So yeah, the all up, and then hit scan, and that should be it. I hear this the fragment three. That depends what you want. I see because this is what I have on my Windows. Enable optimizer. Define this. Do hit apply. Okay. No toolbox. Now um, in toolbox, you I recommend you use Smart Defrag for defragmentation. It's a good program. Register the frag, start a manager, and smart RAM. These are what I recommend. I'm not going to go through each and one of them because it's very easy to use. Turbo, turbo boost. You can get the. Uh, wait, just. Why don't. Just wait. Next is turbo boost. This is basically like game booster. Oh, it freezes perfectly. This is exactly like game booster. You just. Uh, oh, here it is. You basically click configure, choose what to turn off and then turn on. It's very easy. I don't think I need to go through it, right? Just get go configure game mode and after the next, 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 pick what you want to stop, what you don't want to stop. So yeah, that should be it. At action center, it's actually is nothing there. So yeah, turbo boost, that should be it. And uh, one last tip: make sure this PC health is like blue. If it's red, sad face. It's not good, it's gonna affect your FPS. So make sure your PC is always clean, you know, that's what I wanna say. So yeah, that should be it. And then last uh, thing that I wanna talk about is Smart Defrag. This is basically a uh, defragmentation tool. This will defrag your hard drive and make sure they are running at top performance. So yeah, click your, check your hard drive that you want to defrag, hit analyze, and it will tell you, like, report, and will tell you if what it recommends, like, the frag and fast optimized, fully optimized. So yeah, it's easy. You can put it out of the frag, but again, I don't use that because I like to do it manually. So yeah, that should be it. Oh, one one last tip. Go to um, start control panel. This is like the last tip that I want to give you before I stop the video. That helped me out a lot. And um, I just go to net to. Um, hardware and sound here and then go to power options and then and make sure make sure that uh, wait for it to do and then make sure that oh, just just wait a little bit it will start Make sure that it, that it is on high performance. This will boost your FPS again, but it, it might it might not. But if you're on laptop or on if you are on a laptop, you might keep it power saver or balanced. But if you're on a PC, just high performance. Change plan settings if you want it to. If you want to keep. So wait a minute. You want any of these? Like I just. If you want to keep any of these go ahead so yeah that should be it tell me in comments if this helped if this didn't help i hope it helped i'm pretty sure it will help you again keep your pc at top performance keep it clean make sure you optimize your drivers get latest drivers keep it at just for best performance and you should be good to go to play games with no lag maybe not no lag but again and uh, make sure you have the latest driver so yeah that should be it again if you enjoyed watching this, if this video helped you feel free to stick around for more and feel free to post any comments about what you think of this video and uh, if you want more tutorials like this so yeah i'm gonna make more tutorials specifically for games like crisis like skyrim how to per improve performance on skyrim on crisis 2 on games and anyway hope you hope this video helped this was Victor Zero One to Trick You and I'm out.